I think what Terry did is one of the great acts of selflessness and courage in the history of the world, really. I mean, what he did was not only remarkable, not only incredible, but really unprecedented. And so uh, I think my fascination with him never ends. When I watch that footage now, I'm, I remark on how painful it was, how difficult it was, how there is blood at the top of Terry's stump, about how we have immortalized him and, and we see him as this heroic figure, almost angelic, but he was struggling. And he says he would look to telephone poles and think, I'm just going to get to that next telephone pole. And I think that's a great message, that idea of any challenge can be overcome with small incremental progress. In fact, Stephen Dame was so inspired by Terry Fox's courage and never give up attitude that it helped him change his own life. Well, I lost about 80 pounds when I started to run, you know, and thinking of Terry and really considering if that guy can do that, if he can do that incredible thing of a marathon a day, then certainly I can get around the track once or twice or three times. And so the thought of Terry is what inspired me to keep going. And for the past several years, he has been the organizer of the Terry Fox Run in his hometown of Georgetown. But now he says he has a plan to truly honor his respect for the Canadian hero and hopefully pass his inspiration on to his five-year-old son. The plan is that my son and I will follow Terry Fox's footsteps from Georgetown, Ontario uh, to the point where the Marathon of Hope ended in Thunder Bay and we will follow along Terry's route, we'll get out and we'll, we'll run along some of the spots where Terry ran and it's a bit of a pilgrimage for me. And I would hope that my son will find inspiration in Terry's story, that uh, he will see um, that no challenge is too much to be overcome. And if anything, uh, Terry Fox is a story that tells you the impossible can be done. It just takes step after step, uh, mile after mile, a little bit of effort, and you can do anything. Well, they aren't raising any money on this journey. They are hoping that it will inspire others to join their own local Terry Fox runs this fall. In Toronto, Audra Brown, City News.